Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today another news flash episode. Topic of the day, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton went vegan around about a year ago. Before that, he was still pescatarian, consuming fish. Now he faces the consequences. Here on this channel, we already know about the dire consequences of veganism. Depression tooth decay, digestive upset, including bloating and diarrhea, anxiety, social paranoia and whatnot. Today, BBC Sport reported on Lewis Hamilton posting on his social media and saying he feels like giving up on everything. So here you can see part of his post. Lewis says, honestly, I feel like giving up on everything. Shut down completely. Why bother? when the world is such a mess and people don't seem to care. I'm going to take a moment away to gather my thoughts. Thank you to those of you who do give a damn about the world. It doesn't take much to realize that this text has been written by a very depressed person. And this is what veganism leads to. This is the first stage. You get depressed, but you cannot make the connection. You do not think that it has anything to do with your diet. Last year, Lewis Hamilton was still jet setting with his bulldog on his private jet, right, traveling the world. Here you can see him in his private jet, relaxed with his bulldog, jet setting. But just a couple of months later, he writes this. How come? Many vegans do not make the connection at first. They believe that they woke up like in the matrix and now they see what is wrong with the world the slaughter the environmental impact the health crisis all can be fixed with veganism that's what they believe the reality of things is you depleted your brain of valuable nutrients you don't have any dha or epa you do not have any b vitamins that will protect your nervous system you are depleted and this is when you get depressed Cholesterol is an important brain nutrient as well. You've been brainwashed into believing that low cholesterol will make you super healthy. The opposite is the truth. The longest living populations have high cholesterol. You depleted yourself, you get depressed, and the first stage is to blame everything around you. The external world. It's their fault, it's his fault, it's her fault, but it's not my diet. Quite the opposite. Now, in your malnourished state, you're getting obsessed with it. And that leads you to posts like this, where you start blaming everybody around you. Lewis has been deprived and brainwashed to such a degree that he kept on writing on his social media, I'm sad right now with the thought of where this world is going. Extinction of our race is becoming more and more likely as we overuse our resources. Yes, Lewis Hamilton is a useful idiot that truly believes that grazing cows will destroy our planet. A man that has done no research whatsoever but believes he found the ultimate truth. Now he is sacrificing himself for the environment, for the animals all of that shit, and he's wasting away, destroying his career. Another game changer, yet again. Maybe this is the first time that you stumbled across my channel. You've been looking for Lewis Hamilton videos and all of a sudden you see my face. This is nothing new. We have thousands and thousands of testimonials online. People are reaching out to me on a daily basis, getting depressed through veganism, reclaiming their health, through meat. Lewis Hamilton needs meat. He needs bioavailable, absorbable nutrition that he cannot find in his plant-based diet. You are getting depressed because nature is giving you biofeedback. If you do not feel good, that means something is wrong. And as I said, of course, in the first step, you will blame the external. However, the fault is the diet. If you are lacking nutrients, your body will signalize it to you. It will alarm you. It will make you feel depressed. It will make you feel angry. Because in a natural environment, in the wild, you would start hunting for food. But now, in this bubble that you are living in, in this capsule where you're jet setting across the world, you cannot form a coherent thought anymore because you've been brainwashed. You've been duped. You cannot listen to your instincts. Look at this. Lewis Hamilton has written on social media that he feels like giving up on everything 
and posted about the positives of going vegan. Ah, don't you see the connection? Do you really need me to tell you this? This is unbelievable. You are in denial. There are no positives of going vegan. It is an absolute scam. You should talk about the negatives of going vegan because that makes you feel like giving up on everything. Anyways, as I said, nothing new. On this channel, we discussed it many, many times. People that suffer from depression can cure it in the matter of days. Lewis, if you watch this video, let me tell you there is hope. Get some juicy grass-fed beef, some salmon sashimi, salmon raw, nutritionally dense food and reclaim your health. All right, guys, but this is it for today. Just a quick news flash episode. Wish Lewis Hamilton all the best. Let's hope he can get back to race car driving, back to his career. Still a young guy. It would be very, very sad to see him go down the vegan rabbit hole. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for the support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.